um, kind of like a novel and you click on stuff which can do different things which there could be different endings so it's basically like you're reading a book but you get to choose the outcome dust a daddy long leg has made its home in the left top left corner and while it's doing excellent work in keeping the mosquito population at death and if that client pays you you'll have enough money to for rent this week Yay! Thanks. nice you always need enough for rent no Let's not get a snack. Let's get back to work. Work, work, work. Night, Aiden. You went to uni with Hayden. He was always really friendly, but he's definitely the outlier on your contact list. Speaking of which, a chime alert to another income message. Ding! Oh, it's Bull Bullby. You open the chat window and find yourself scrolling through 16 very blurry and hardly taken photos of various seclusions. You once asked Billy why all their plant photos look, look like that. They replied by sending you a snap of their elder cactus. Hugh shifted to red with the caption, hear him. And this was a perfect, acceptable answer, honestly. What was up, 19 Hey! It's doing the daily drop of good content for your soul, don't mind me. Everyone's having a hard time tonight. Seems like so. You know how I do. Hot plants direct from me to your inbox, Emma. Allo, allo, allo. What's all this then? You know, I don't have to do this right. You could be living a sadder life. One without quality close ups of my latest parted plant friends. I do this out of the goodness of my heart, and this is how you treat me? Do I grace you with these gifts? Oh, 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 okay, okay. I appreciate this quality care package. And also, you? Also, it's, it, it's like 11.30 a.m. there. You've been up all night? Bull, Bullby? Go back to, to sleep. Emo? Oh, why are you like this? Have you eaten at least? Uh, Lemo. Let your head rest gently on your desk and consider the void. It's really more of a th thunk, and you're pretty sure you just tore something in your in your calf with that stretch, but you need to take a moment to gather yourself. You love your friends, you really do. They are all disasters. You are also a disaster. But at least you give good advice. But uh, that you will never apply to yourself. Okay, but when was the last time you did eat though? <laughs> Bully, please, I'm dying. Look, it's fine, D DW. You know, I don't know. It it's actually fine. Because a lot of time, when you say something is fine, it turns out that it wasn't, and that you were lying to me, so I wouldn't worry. And while I get where you're coming from with that, I'll also be uh, pissed if I check the news one day and find out someone found your corpse playing close to the last word plant you stole. I have a peanut butter cup. What more do you want from me? Oh, okay, okay. But have you had anything to eat other than peanut butter cups today? And also, how many? N no. And like five. But like, look, I get you, I do, I know. I'm broke though, bud. All right, be honest with me, yeah? When was the last time you had an actual meal, Bulb? You wait, drumming your fingers, arm of the chair. They start typing, they stop, they start again, they stop. You know the answer is probably too long ago, but you need to know how bad it is. They're still typing. 
You start drafting your final email for the client while you wait. You really wish some people would be cool and use their names in professional communication. Because it's really hard to tell your family that, yeah, well, it's going great. The other day you finished up a job for Lincoln's Link the 10 to 1982 and it's paying super well. Paid super well. And Miss LTT1982, they were the last clear and concise with their job briefs, unlike your current client, Sasuki the Sergil. Sergil. You finish the body of the email before writing fi five variations of Dear Suki and realizing you're losing the will to live. You've just decided to drop the name altogether and risk coming off as slightly less professional than Bowlby replies. Two days? You stare at your screen. Two days. Bowlby gets paid on Friday. It's Wednesday for them. Do you have anything left? Ammo? Bowlby, seriously, like any rice or anything? No. I'll be fine though, I have like a week's worth of peanut butter cups left. I just got a rash in the mouth. DW. I'm gonna worry, what happened? <laughs> Z came over for a couple of days, but like, he said he was gonna pick me up some groceries today. It'll be fine, seriously. When has Z ever actually followed through on that? Like, when? Name one time. Mo, yeah, but like, I, I don't know. I don't know. What do you What do you know? I can't just turn him down when he turns up looking like, and ask to crash on the couch. You can and you should. He's got nice. He's got a nice family. Yeah, I know. You're right, bud. I don't know. Your stomach twists itself into knots. You check your bank account. $22.08. Look. If it helps, I'd like drop by dad's place tomorrow.